Hi there. In this video, I will show you how to use NAM along with other plugins such as reverbs, delays, without using a full DAW. One way of running NAM is using the standalone app. It works great, but you can't use other effects with it. Another way of using NAM is loading the plugin in your DAW. This is great, many options, but sometimes working in the DAW can be overwhelming when you just want to jam. For this, I use a free application called Element by Kush View. It's a VST loader that allows you to run VST plugins and route signal chain without the use of a full fledged DAW. You can find the link to download Element in the description of this video. We'll begin by downloading Element from the Kush View website. Pretty straightforward setup. We'll go through all the defaults. They have it for Mac, Windows, and Linux. When you first load Element, you will be greeted with the screen. This top tile represents the inputs of your interface, and this bottom tile represents the outputs of your interface. So this would be input one, two, three, four, so forth. And this would be output one, two, three, so forth. The way Element works is that you load up your devices or plugins and route them by connecting these dots to each other. So for example, if I wanted to route input one, which is my guitar, to output one on my interface, I would just drag it just like that, and that will make that connection. To complete the setup in Element, we need to tell Element which interface to use, the sample rate, and the buffer size. We do that by going to Options here in the top, Audio Device. In my case, I'm using the Focusrite USB ASIO driver. Then I go back to Options, choose 48,000 as my sample rate. Anytime you're working with NAM, you have to use 48,000 for now. And on my system, I can use 64 buffer size. We're now ready to load up NAM and other plugins. We're gonna load up NAM by right-clicking on an empty space, going to Verified, and then VST3. In my case, because I already loaded it before, it's going to be listed under the plugin section over here. You can drag these around to put in whatever you like. We're going to start by loading a model. We're going to use the one in the how to capture your amp video, the DC5 model. Then we're going to load up a IR. For this, we're just going to use ML Sound Lab Mesa Almighty. You're not going to get any sound because we still need to make the connections. We drag input one to input one of the plugin. And then we drag output one to output one of the interface. We should get sound on the left side only. And then we drag output two to output two of the interface. And we should get a full sound. Now, Let's say you want to use an overdrive in this setup. We would right click on the empty space. We're gonna use TSC by Mercurial. It's a common free one. We're gonna rearrange this a little bit. We're gonna find a tile for the overdrive. Here it is. Then we're gonna make the connection to the chain. We're gonna remove input one to input one of the of NAM. We're going to make a new connection from input one of the interface to input one of the overdrive. And then from input one, output one of the overdrive to input one of NAM. We're working in mono, so we're only making one connection. We should be able to get some overdriven tones. There we go. Turn it off. On. Great. 
Now, let's add some reverb or delay to the signal. Right click on the empty space. For example, we're going to choose Valhalla. It's a common free one. We're going to move the tile, reroute the outputs of the interface to the outputs of Valhalla, since it's the last plugin in the chain. We'll connect NAM with Valhalla. Everything by dragging, pretty simple. We should get some sound. That's a lot of delay. So let's bring down the mix, bring down the feedback. I can play on this for hours. After you're done with the delay or rebirth, you can just turn it off and it will actually save the DSP by turning it off. You don't have to unload it. Go back again. One thing I like to do is load up other amp simps to compare and use for reference. So, for example, I'm going to load up Helix. Helix native. And then I put it right here. I direct the cab, I mean the output to the reverb as well. And then I leave it like this and turn it off. Because that will save the DSP. So, if I wanted to switch to my Helix rig per se, all I'll do is switch the input to that one and then turn it on, turn this one off. So now I'm, I'm on this chain. So you can set up several chains in one session. And then another tip is you can save them. That way when you open the program, it automatically comes up to all your chains set up here and you're ready to go. I really hope this was helpful. If you really like this content, please like and subscribe. Again, thank you and stay tuned for more.